Hi everybody, Ollie here, aka Secret Imbus here, another episode of Agrarian Skies 2. So at the end of my last episode, I had been working on Thorncraft? Question mark? I think I'd been working on some Thorncraft. Uh, yeah, I think it was something like that. Um, as you can see, things have been kind of filled in a little bit around here. Basically what I did is off camera, I made myself a... Wherever I've put it, is it in here? Ah, Builder's Wand. Here we go. So this is an extra utilities Builder's Wand. Bit easy to make on this mod pack compared to in kind of other mod packs where usually you need a, an unstable ingot. But, which requires a division sigil. But luckily, because this is Agrarian Skies and you're not really going to be able to find... Um, a uh, division to join like a dungeon chest or anything like that. Jaded is very nicely made it so you just need some obsidian and a couple of diamonds to make a builder's wand. So what that allows me to do is basically just build things really quickly. So say for example I wanted some of these cobblestone slabs and I wanted to... Uh, well, which bit did I want to fill in? It's like over here somewhere. So let me head around here. So say for example I just wanted to fill in these couple of bits here with these cobblestone slabs. I could literally just go like that and it would actually place them down for me very nice look at that but it does it is a little bit glitched out on this particular mod pack i don't know why it does this but uh sometimes it like places like more than one than it's supposed to i don't know why it does it but uh it's a little bit glitchy but it works most of the time for when you want to build fairly quickly so that's quite nice so i made that off camera just to make building kind of platforms that wee bit easier um what do i want to, what do I want to do on this episode so what i was thinking of doing was Diving into the assembly line quest mod and getting some getting some of these um, what they, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, uh, my factory reloaded th uh, things going for that's what I'm looking for. So basically, what I want to do first of all is make myself an auto spawner, and I will actually do something with that pretty much straight away. So let's get an auto spawner. Okay, so that's just not showing up at all. So auto. Oh, it's a dash, that's why. Auto spawner, there we go. So I'm going to do a few things for this. So let's get cracking. So I need a machine frame. So let's grab some iron, a bit of copper. There we go, I need some tin. Go grab a stack of tin. Just because I'm, I'm anticipating having to make quite a few machine frames. So how much glass have I got? Um, none here, but I'm fairly sure that I was making some over here yes got a whole stack of it excellent that's what i was looking for uh we need some ender pearls there we go that's all full so i've got to be a little bit careful there oh yeah uh mod packs updated so i've got to turn chest buttons back on annoyingly uh jesus christ i really need to change these over to sorting chests at some point i just haven't got around to it yet uh i will, I will do that eventually i promise um uh, let's get rid of that glass bottle as well. There we go. I'm just going to void all this off real quick. Here we go. So all the armor. And just go straight through the void. Um, and the glass bottles. There we go. Marvellous. Eat, eat a piece of stock. Uh, so yeah, what else did I need for the auto spawner? I needed some nether wart. Now, do I have nether wart? That is a question. Um, it would be in here if I had it. How do I get nether wart? Let me just double check that. So... I need to sift soul sand, right, okay, and to sift soul sand, I need to uh, do a couple of things, so watch this, so I'm going to, um, how do I make a well again, let's double check that, so I need a well, which is kind of materials and bricks, do I have any bricks, is next question, do I just take this one for now, I'm just going to take this one for now I think, let me destroy you for a second. Plonk you back down. Um, music's really loud all of a sudden. It's really weird. Um, so I'm going to need a well. I'm going to need some mycelium. I'm going to need a barrel. There we go. Grab a barrel. Uh, and then what I'm going to need is... Um, I'm going to need to set this up a little bit. So what I might do is have it kind of here, I think. So let me plonk down the mycelium there, uh, I want a barrel there, I want my well there might work, let me get some, I need some fluid ducts, wherever I got them, temperate fluid ducts, I need some servos, hardened servo will be fine for this I think, let's see if this works, so can I, oops a daisy, so can I not actually pull water out of this 
Uh, maybe I can't pour water out of this. This that would be rather annoying. Um, so apparently I cannot pour water out of a brick well. That's kind of sad, but not the end of the world. Um, so let me go back over to here. Uh, plug it back down. Um, what I'm going to need to do instead is uh, get myself an infinite water source nearby. So uh, we need a bucket. Grab a couple of buckets. Let's get these. Can I not fill that from there? That's really annoying. I need a second ordinary bucket. So let me make one out of iron. Just because I've got iron on me. There we go. Marvellous. Uh, I'm going to need two. Did I ever make an aqueous accumulator? I'm sure I did. There we go. One aqueous accumulator. So I'm going to need to brick this off a wee bit. Let me grab some cobble. There we go. So I'm going to plonk an infinite water source down here. I also need some slabs as well. Just to neaten this off a wee bit. So let me get a couple more like so. So I think I'm going to have it like around here. Oops, a daisy. Just realised that I can't build on top of that one because it's uh, wood, not not cobblestone slabs. There we go. It's a bit better. So what we're going to do is have the infinite water source in here. So one, two, three. Let's plonk down my aqueous accumulator. There we go. You can go down there. Then we need the two buckets of water. One goes there. One goes there. Excellent. So that should be filling up with water, which it is. And then all we really need to do is then... And that's filled up. Excellent. So that's one part done. And it's also making some moss stone as well, which is quite nice. Um, but what we need to do next is we need to get some item ducts. And then, oops, a daisy. So let me set and separate that. I'm going to do it again in a second. Unseparate you. And unseparate you. Boom, so that's connected. Oh, yep, need to unseparate you as well. So I'm going to pull sand out of there and put it into here. So let me grab myself a hardened servo and set that to ignored. So that'll pull out sand. As soon as that turns into witch water. Um, I just realised, how the hell do I pull this out again? I can't remember. Hmm. I'm trying to remember how you pull this out now, because you need the mycelium, unless the barrel can go up one. I'm not sure. If not, how the hell do you pull the... Um, there you go, so that's turned into soul sand. How the hell do I pull it out? Unless I can have... So this is, this is one little tricky thing. Uh, let me make myself a... Let's get some wood. I want to test something out. So we need a chest. There we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make a hopper. There we, there we go. Uh, let me double check something. So that will fill up with water. But what I want to do quickly is, let me wrench you up for a second, is if I put a hopper down there and I put a oak barrel there, uh, I need my fluidux back, don't I? Fluidux. There we go. Uh, that's hard and fluid, I just want ordinary ones. There we go. Let's swap you over. Now, if that get fills up with water, is that going to turn into which water? That's all I want to know, because it's over mycelium. Or does mycelium need to be next to it, maybe? Um, dig that out. So, what I'm going to need is... Is that turning into mycelium yet? No, it is not. Uh, do I have a spade? No, I do not have one of them either. So, oops, a daisy. Ah! Water's gone everywhere. There we go. Much better. Um, so that will no longer be mycelium. So I wonder if I can have it so it's like next to it. This is all going very complicated all of a sudden. Oops, a daisy. That will be putting sand and stuff in there. Oh, God's sake. Um, whoops, a daisy. I've been plonking things down without even thinking about it. And that is also connected up there, which is what I want anyway. Uh, let's get rid of all of you. Uh, got some things to do. I think I've got rid of most of that. Oh, yep, just some lapis as well. That should be fine. And coal. There we go. Um, so yeah, maybe if my stadium goes down next to it, I should have tons and tons of ancient spores around here. So 
yeah, I just need to do a quick experiment in terms of um, witch water and stuff like that. So let me grab a bucket real quick. So this is now kind of blocked up. I'm going to need to have a rearrange here at some point. Get a water source. So let's do a quick experiment around here just to, just to see where mycelium affects this. So if I plonk dirt down here, for example, and I then put ancient spores, will that then... Ah, yes. So mycelium can go down next to it, which is what I was hoping. Um, can we just plonk that down? Yeah, that, that's fine. So I need to have mycelium down next to this one. So I can plonk down a piece of dirt here, for example. Plonk down mycelium on it. And that'll transform that into witch water. Good, good. We're getting somewhere. I can then bring you across. And then that should then put soul sand into there and transform that into mycelium. Um, so that is all hooked up there. I then need something like, I don't know. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just wrench that up real quick. Um, and then rebuild these ones. Reason being is so I can actually plonk a chest down there. So let me grab a chest. Um, da -da 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 -da. I need wood. There we go. I've got wood. He that never, that never gets old, I swear. So let's make a couple of chests. Just just so I've got a spare one, some something. So I need to get out of here. Let's get her out and around. And then what can happen is I can put a chest down there. Oops, so Daisy, let's un do that and then I need to wrench you so you connect it up to there so that should then pull out any soul sand and put it in there which is exactly what I wanted grand look at that beautiful I still don't want, I just still don't want sand in there oh right hang on this will be connected up there so I mean, that should now all be sorted let me get all the sand out so that will now literally just pull out soul sand fantastic look at that we're, we're underway here guys we're underway um so I'll just need to set up some way of sifting that now. Um, it's gonna be a little bit complicated. It's gonna be a little bit, of a, little bit of a faff, but I suppose we could do that in a second. Let me just eat something. I'm getting hungry. I've been jumping around everywhere. So maybe we won't be building an auto spawner today, but we are setting up a new system, which is always fun. So uh, uh, let me just dump some stuff. So we got da -da 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 -da. apparently got a router reborn manual. Where the hell did I get that from? Random. Uh, put that away for now. So, let's build ourselves an auto sieve, no, automatic, oh, it's automatic, isn't it, automatic, there we go, we want an automatic sieve, so we need some invar, some electrum, so that's literally just a thermal foundation one, so I need to make some electrum in here, I mean, I've got some gold already present, so if I get, like, six silver, um, silver, one, two, three, four, five, six, there we go. That should be enough to make a gear, I think. Basically what I've been doing, I've been melting down the gold coins that you get from Thorncraft and just running running them through here. Apparently got bronze in there as well. Let me pop you out, because what I really want is the gear cast. Fantastic, there we go. So I'll be making some electron gears. Uh, we also need some invar, because I've got no invar at all. So let's grab... I've already got some iron, haven't we? So then we just need some nickel or ferrous, wherever you are. Aluminium, silver, tin, shiny, gold, lead, iron, ferrous. There we go. And let's grab like 10, something like that. We'll make like, I don't know, how, however much ferrous that makes. So there we go. So we've got some molten electrum, which we can start pulling out. So we'll put you in, and then we need to just fill up the rest with iron, I believe. That should make a load of invar. Apparently ferrous is melting down rather quickly, so that's the electrum gear that we need. We need some silk mesh as well. Oops, so easy. Let's grab a whole stack of string, which will allow us to make, I believe, silk and mesh. Fantastic. That's one part down. Uh, we've got nickel in there. Good. We're just melting down some iron. That'll be done momentarily. There we go, so we've got Molten Invar, which we can now pour out in here. We should only need one block for now. Lots of different metals in there, very nice. So I've got lots of uh, storage space in here now, as I've got one, two, three layers. So it melts down, I think, 27 items at the same time, which is always nice. Um, 
Do -do 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 -do. So we need to turn you into Invar and then you into Nuggets. Then we should be able to make an auto sieve like so. Fantastic. And then what I really want to do is... Um, what I want to do, I really want to put down an auto sieve around here somewhere. So I'm just trying to think where's a good place to have it. I'm thinking like here maybe and then just hook the power underneath. So what I need to do is then run... So I'm going to need some more item ducts as well, which I believe is tin and lead. Oops, it is. I just got like stacks of lead there. And again. There we go. That should be fine. Um, double check. Moment of truth. Yep, item ducts, which is what we wanted. So I'm also going to need a servo again. So any servo will be fine. Um... Yeah, just an ordinary servo is grand. Um, so what I need to do now is somehow route this around so that it goes kind of like up or down or through, something like that. It's, it's going to be a massive mess here, but hey-ho, that's uh, what, what mine, what's mod, modding Minecraft is all about. It's just kind of, oops, it is, he's creating like these crazy systems like so. So we need to start wrenching things every so often. Oops, it is, there we go. So we've still got, only got soul sand in there, so next thing, let's bring you out. Wrench, there we go. And again, oh good, that's looking good like so. So let's bring you, oops, Daisy. yep, that should be fine. Uh, and then, I'm not sure if I can put it in from the top, but let's go, du -du 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 -du, like so, and du -du, and du -du, there we go. Oops, so Daisy, I actually wanted that one. Ah, there we go, perfect. Right, so that should input that. I also need some power. Oops, so Daisy, I'm now stuck because I'm an idiot. Uh, is there a way of getting out of here? Please, there's a way of getting out of here without me getting like horrendously stuck or having to break things. I'd rather not break things if I don't have to. Uh, we'll break you. There we go, now I can escape. Um, so let's get some flux ducts. There we go, hardened flux duct will be fine. And then what we should be able to do is, we'll get back in here. And I just need to break. Break you first. Break you second. I can power that, right? Ah, oh, yeah, it's connected, but you just can't see the, uh, the first one. So, there we go. So, if we plonk you down, you should now be getting power, which you are. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We then just need to output... Soul sand, so we just hit ignored. That should pull out. I don't know what Certus Quartz is doing in there. Good, good, good. So that should now be sifting soul sand in theory. Um, in theory, of course, is the uh, the million dollar question. Where the hell has my soul sand gone? Um, let's double check it's not connected to anything else. I don't think it is, so I don't know why... Ah, there we go, now it's sifting. Excellent, so that is now sifting some soul sand. Perfect, so we've got a little system to do that. We still need a piece of nether wart, so let's go back to the auto spawner. And let's just double check what the kind of the chances of getting nether wart from here. Could manner infuse something, but... So heat sand, dark sapling, fused wood sapling, blood sapling would be quite good for getting redstone. Uh, nether wart is a 5% chance. And um, we're just going to get lots of nether quartz instead, which is fair enough. Which is fair enough. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to plonk the surface quartz in there, like so. What are the chances? Ooh, blood wood sapling, very nice. What are the chances of that? Let me find out. Blood wood is 1%, so I mean, we got a blood wood sapling, so you never know. We might get a uh, nether wart. Which would be quite nice, that would then mean that we could actually carry on with the auto spawner, which would be cool. At least we did something cool, something interesting to uh, pass the time in this episode, which was to basically just set up my setup for... Ah, oh, we've, we've got a shroom as well, so yeah, the thing about um, this little setup is that you just got to wait for the water to transform every time. I don't know if more nether wart basically improves the speed of that or not. Oh, we've got lots of bone meal in there. Ah, excellent, we've got a nether wart. So we can actually, you know, make the make the auto spawner before the end of the episode, which is cool. Let's eat some stock as well. There we go, delicious, delicious stock. Um, so let's get cracking with this. So let's make a tin gear. 
just the one let's make four five grand uh we then need to make a machine frame let's make a couple uh what else do we need so we need some magma creams so we need a couple of bits of blaze powder um that's not the right one maybe it's that one nope it's just not gonna look let's just do it manually no. Oh no, that's Eye of Ender. What the hell do I need for Blaze uh, Magma Creams again? So. Oh, Slime Balls, not Ender Pearls. What am I, what am I doing? Um, I do have Slime Balls, right? <laughs> uh, let me put those Eyes of Ender in there. So, how do I get, like. I could do, like, congealed blood. Uh, don't need Blaze Powder. Uh, pink Slime Ball, Slime Ball. Uh, I mean, I could, in theory, get it from growing the Slime Sapling, which I probably should do. Um, there's also a board of glue, which you get from that. Blue slime. Right, let me get that slime sapling wherever you've gone. I need to grow you. Fetch me some dirt. There we go. Lots of dirt there. Let's grow ourselves a slime sapling. So, uh, let's plonk you down there. Slime sapling. We need some bone meal. Would be useful. Um, none there. Some there. That'll do. Can I grow you? Please say I can grow you. I'm like spamming. Let me go back and double check where I got that from. So I think I got it from Tinker's Toys. So slime saplings can be grown into trees. It can be harvested and crafted into slime balls. You can also sift the slime box to get more saplings. Task whether to play any specific items. So it doesn't really say how I get this. I'm trying to grow it, but it's not really growing at all. Um, that's really weird. And let's, let's try a watering can. Do I have a watering can? I do. You're my neck, you're my Come on, watering can, you're my only hope. The watering can is now Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh, is it because it's... Ah, uh, it might be because it's under, under a sky. Let me grab some more bone meal. So, there we go, grab a few more bones. Let me find somewhere that isn't quite so underneath my mob spawner. Um, so, uh, let's plonk you down to here, for example. Let's try the slimy sapling. Uh, we need some bone meal now. There we go. Let's see if this grows. Well, they should still grow even underneath. Because if I'm bone mealing it, it should still grow. I don't know if this even works. I might just have to wait for that to grow. That just did not grow at all. Um, that's not particularly fun. Is there anything else I can use? What about like blue slimes or can well, congealed blood would require me to jump in my mob in my uh, what's it called? Smeltery, which I don't really fancy doing. Ball of glue, pink slime ball, gelatinous slime. Don't not really way of getting that. Pink slime balls would be a. So I don't really fancy coagulated blood. So maybe we just gotta wait for it to grow. I don't know. I don't know if it needs to grow somewhere specific, but whatever. Um, yeah, I might have to put it on the back burner for now. Then that's rather annoying. Just eat something. Uh, I didn't get slime balls from anything else, did I? Um, just, do just double checking everywhere, just in case I got like some slime balls from something. Um, doesn't appear so. I haven't got any blood in here, which is annoying. Um, so yeah, I think we've kind of run out of things to do now. Uh, annoyingly, because basically all I need is that slimy sapling to grow and it won't grow, so uh, whatever. Apparently I've got bone meal in there. And, oh, it's because the axe is destroyed, that's why. Um, so yeah, I don't think that's going to grow somehow. Um, but I'm not sure how I'm supposed to get it to grow. Unless it's just a case of um, watering canning for a while. But but yeah, so I'll probably just leave the episode here for now. Um, in terms of this series going forward, uh, I'm probably going to cut it down to just once a week at the moment. Just because I've got other things to play. Uh, and it's not getting the viewership of some of my other series. So this is this is going to be uh, cut down uh, from now on. Unless I can do any streaming of it. In which case I'll be uploading stream highlights instead. So yeah, this is going to be cut down for in future. So just let me know if you're against that or not. But uh, in terms of other commitments, this is going to be a reduced series to like once a week now. Just... To just moving forward so just letting you guys know that but apart from that don't forget to comment and like if you enjoyed the episode and i'll see you next time goodbye <laughs>